at the mercy of the full force of nature. There's no place to run and hide. A day at work turns to chaos when 120 mile an hour winds bear down on a small town hardware store. 10 miles west of Mobile, Alabama, Theodore is known for its balmy Gulf Coast weather. But when a violent storm builds, residents are caught off guard. The weather uh, was predicted to be thunderstorms and possibility of tornadoes. However, we didn't predict anything like that happening. And we hear that often here on the Gulf Coast. Margaret Alexander owns a hardware store in Theodore. She and her employees have no idea a tornado is forming overhead. The sky soon turns dark. Nothing can prepare them for what is about to come through the front door. The door blew open and, and that's when we realized we were in trouble. They realize a massive twister is upon them. When I looked out that door, I was in awe. I turned around, I told my husband, I said, this is serious, you need to come. And he came around the corner and we saw the tornado was right there at us. Through the front door, they are hit with the full blast of the twister. I didn't have time to think, I honest to God didn't. I, it was just so, so scary, the sounds were unreal. Security cameras roll as ferocious winds slam into the store. The front of the building blows apart. The sound was so loud, it was just crashing, metal ripping, crashing. The tornado has touched down directly on top of the store, destroying everything in its path. Employee Lee Grant is working on a mower in the back workshop when the tornado hits. I heard hail pinging on the roof. It was light to begin with, and it got really heavy. Within seconds, everything broke loose. When I started to realize that it was possible tornado, I tried to find cover. Uh, actually, I tried to crawl under a riding mower. The entire workshop is turned upside down in a matter of seconds. It was real loud. There was metal bending, glass breaking, wood busting. It actually happened too fast to get scared. I mean, two and a half seconds, it was over, but it was definitely an exciting two and a half seconds. It was unbelievable. Fortunately, Lee is not struck with any flying debris. My first thought after the tornado had passed was the other people in the building. There was still stuff falling throughout the building. Back at the front of the store, Margaret worries for the safety of her employees, including her son, in the back. I was very fearful for my life, my husband's life, my son's life, our workers. There is too much fallen debris for Margaret to move. Thankfully, she hears Grant and her son call out to say they're OK. Miraculously, the employees at Alexander Hardware walk out of the building without a scratch. But the tornado leaves the store in shambles. Once we got our senses together and stood up and looked around, we realized that our building's gone, our business is gone. The tornado caught Alexander Hardware and everyone else around here totally by surprise. In a matter of two and a half seconds, it went from 120 mile an hour winds to total calm. The twister causes millions of dollars in damage, destroying multiple businesses and homes in the area. After the tornado passed and, and uh, I come out of cover, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Everything was gone or, or turned over, or walls laying down. I knew at that point that that would be a day I'd think about the rest of my life. I am thrilled to be alive. It's a wake-up call for Margaret and her employees to take tornado warnings seriously. When I hear the storm warnings, I heed to them, I pay attention, I do fear it. We lost 90% of the business. However, luckily, we were able to pick back up, relocate, and start over again. Yes, everything's the same. Alexander Hardware, we just moved right across the street. I highly respect Mother Nature now. No matter where I'm located, I realize that tornadoes can happen anywhere. 